Hello and welcome to a Hillsborough at Home Preschool Story Time. My name is Miss Karen and I'm so glad you're here with me today. So we always begin with our hello songs. So first of all, we're going to practice four words in sign language. So first we put our hand up from our head, like so. We say hello. Then we take our fingers and crisscross them. That's how we sign friends. Hello, friends. And then we look at your wrist, like tap it like you have a watch on. It's time. Can you tap your wrist? It's time. To say, picture the words just pop out of your mouth. To say, hello. And that's all we have to make a beautiful song to sing together. Can you sing with me? Because, hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Great job. Now, we always, always need our super special story time glasses for story time. If you have glasses on already, that's okay. We'll just make an extra pair on top. Mm -hmm. So first, we hold up our hands to our eyes, make some glasses. And then what else do you need for story time? You need a book. Can you make a book with your hands? Now we're gonna open up our book. Oh my gosh, there was a space alien in that book. He had eight tentacles, seven eyes, and horns. Oh, what did your alien look like? Hmm. All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna sing our song. It goes, These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, 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 I put down my glasses and close up the book. Good job. Okay, now it's time to read a story. This book is one of my favorite picture books published in 2020, and it is called On Account of the Gun by Adam Ritz. So we have a little girl. She's blowing bubble gum in bed. It's a bad choice. She falls asleep and, oh no. That's the gum. Right there, that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still, and your sister said, duck, and you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, we went on some websites and all of them swear, if you wanna get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along and, I see, it appears that the websites were wrong. Don't give me that look. Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have grass in your hair. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this noodly, bacony mass with the scissors, gum hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Mm. Your rabbit eats grass. Is this a good idea? Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there, but your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch, she'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. Wait, no, nope. I'm thinking of the old cat. Your aunt just came back and she has a new cake. It's cake? She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. The, the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus every few seconds we'll pop a balloon and the guy with the bees that could get them here soon. And oh, I hear sirens, the firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same with their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and the big pot of chili. They're ready to stop. Oh, she's had enough. Get out, please. Oh man, 
There go the fireman, and the bee man, and the police officer, and the dog. And, geez, the gum. Rude. So, that's the solution. <laughs> what do you know? Too bad about all the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff is still stuck in your hair. Oh my goodness, your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? Anyway, you better get to school. Because otherwise you're going to miss picture day. Look at her face. On account of the gum. <laughs> the end. Okay, friends, we always like to take some time to stretch and move our bodies. We're going to do the alphabet yoga. That's by Barry Carl. We make a big circle up above our heads. Say, A is an apple, B a banana. Good job. Now we get down on our hands and knees and say, C is a cat. You say, meow. <laughs> and then you put your hands and feet on the ground and stretch your body up. And D, downward dog. And then we curl up an itty bitty ball. E is an egg. And then we hop up. And F is a forward bend. We go, say, G, that feels good. <laughs> say, H, I, roll up, say hi. We're gonna do a jump. J is a jump. And K is a kick. Nice job. L is a lunge. Let's make it stick. Ooh, a little wiggly. <laughs> Give a step forward. You say M and say namaste. Now we hop up. O is an ostrich head in a hole. And P is the time to pick your pose. Today, I'm gonna to go way down. This is the froggy pose. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down with our legs behind us now. I say Q, R, a snake with me. I say yes. And then keep one knee down. Then bring the other knee up. And we say T, you're a T-Rex, hear me roar. And we're going to hop up. And you make a V because you're so strong. You're so strong. Okay, we're going to bend our knees and say W, we're in a chair. Are you in a chair? Is it a comfy chair? How low is your chair? Oh, <laughs> okay, we're going to hop up. We're going to hop up now. Are you ready? Extra special why it's true. <laughs> Can you make a zigzag with your body? Because we got to Z, me, and you. Ta -da. <laughs> Great job, you guys. All right, we're going to do a flannel board ride next. Okay, friends, it's time for our flannel board ride. What do we have here today? That's right, it's a birthday cake. Happy birthday, whenever your birthday is this year. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day and do not have any gum stuck in your hair. <laughs> All right. How many candles do we have on our birthday cake? One, two, three, four, five. Five birthday candles. And which colors do we have today? We have red and blue, purple, pink, and green. Do I have your favorite color on my cake? I hope so. Okay, can you hold up five fingers? We're gonna do a rhyme. There's five birthday candles. Wish there were more. Blow one out. And now there are Four. Four birthday candles, pretty as can be. Blow one out. And now there are three. Three birthday candles. I hope my wish comes true. Blow one out. And now there are two. Two birthday candles. Birthdays are such fun. Blow one out. And now there's just one. One birthday candle. My party's almost done. Blow it up. And now there are none. But that means it's time to eat. <laughs> Hooray! Great job on our counting rhyme. Okay, next we're gonna do our goodbye song. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Now we're gonna do our goodbye song. It goes, we clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We had such fun and now it's done. We clap our hands like this. We stomp our feet like this. We stomp our feet like this. We had such fun and now it's done. We stomp our feet 
wait like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We had such fun and now it's done. We wave goodbye like this. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>